Hey friends, have you ever been to a rainforest? Do you want to go to a rainforest? Rainforests are so cool. They're full of huge trees and thousands of amazing creatures. Plus tons of gorgeous flowers. But rainforests are in trouble. We had already lost almost a quarter of the world's rainforest. And more is being cut down every day. But people aren't only cutting down the rainforest. There are people trying to save it too. And these people might just be getting a lot of help from a very unexpected creature. Bats! But how can bats save the rainforest? Let's find out. So how could a creature that most people are scared of be one of the most important players in saving the rainforest? The answer is in the trees. When trees make seeds, they don't want those seeds to just fall to the ground and start growing right below the mother tree. That would be competition for sunlight and nutrient. So they want their seeds to grow somewhere else. But a tree can't just get up and walk to a new place to drop their seeds. So how did they solve this problem? Trees had come up with all kinds of cool solutions to the problem of spreading seeds. Some seeds are really tiny and have little parachutes so they can just blow away in the wind. And some seeds can actually fly. Or, well, sort of fly. Like these maple seed helicopters. But need all of these are the most popular way to move seeds. 75% of rainforest trees use a different method to move their seeds. They get somebody else to do it for them. But these seed carriers don't work for free. The tree has to pay for it. And they pay for it with food. The plants grow tasty nuts, fruits, and berries for the animals to eat. And these animals carry the seeds all over the rainforest. Sometimes they carry the whole fruit somewhere else to eat it and drop the hard seed when they're done. And sometimes they eat the whole fruit, seed and all. And, well, they poop the seed out somewhere else. But either way, the seed ends up in a new place. And that is what the tree wants. So how does all of this relate to bats? Aren't all bats terrifying blood suckers? Nope. There are more than 1,400 different bat species in the world, and only three of them are vampires. The rest of the bats eat other things, and all of those other things help the land for us. Some bats are insectivores. That means they eat bugs. And that helps the rainforest because most bugs eat plants. So the bats keep the number of bugs from getting too high and eating too much of the rainforest plants. Some bats are pollinators and many rainforest plants need the bats to make new seeds. This includes mangoes, avocados, cashews, and wild bananas. And some bats also eat fruit. Remember what we just said about trees growing fruits to get the animals to spread their seeds? That's right. Bats are one of the most important seed spreaders in the rainforest. They aren't the only seed spreaders. Lots of birds, some reptiles, and monkeys also spread seeds too. But bats do it the best. And when it comes to reforestation, which means growing a new forest where an old one was lost. Bats are even more important. Most rainforest creatures avoid places with no trees. And because of that, they aren't bringing new seed to the places where new seeds are needed the most. The bats fly right over them and drop seeds as they go. Bats might be one of the only ants who brings new seed to places where the forest was destroyed. That makes them super important to regrowing the rainforest. So there you have it, friends. 
Now you know how bats can help save the rainforest. But if we want bats to save the rainforest, first we have to save the bats. Thanks for watching, friends. Until next time, bye.